Hello there everybody and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2 Yay! I'm here today in the good old trusty Mercedes Actros MP3 otherwise known as the Majestic Acros because Mercedes um, haven't given SCS Software their licensing to make it into a Mercedes but we'll talk about that later in the video um, Today though I'm at Majestic Dealer and we're going to go and trade the old Mercedes in for a brand new one, um, otherwise known as the Mercedes Actros MP4, standing for the Mark IV Actros. So let's head over there and see what it's all about. It's in the Majestic dealership, or Mercedes, should I say? We obviously have the Mercedes MP3. Actrosses, but next to it we have this. Look at this. We have a Mercedes-Benz Actros MP4 Big Space at the moment, and there's, there, I'm, I'm told that there's tons of upgrade options. And it's going to be a bit awkward today because I've run out of USB ports on my laptop, so <laughs> I'm using the laptop mouse. But um, in terms of cabin, we've got Big Space and Giga Space, which gives us a little bit more roof space. But I don't know. I, I kind of prefer the, the Big Space, to be honest. I think that's a bit too high, but obviously if you were actually living in the truck, you'd want as much space as possible in the cabin. Um, chassis, you've got 4x2, 6x2-4, which looks to be a tandem, which is all very nice, and a 6x4. I'm going to keep with the 4x2 giga space, and then we've got the engines. I can either have a 449 horsepower. Bluetech 5, 476 horsepower, 800 horsepower, or 421 horsepower. I think 800 is a little bit excessive, so I'm going to go with 476. That's usually quite a good number for trucks like these. The gearboxes are just whoa. <laughs> this is my first time trying this mod, and what the hell? I'm assuming it goes up to 16 speed. No idea what all of this means. I'm just gonna stick with that. <laughs> yeah. Or I could go for. I'm gonna go with the mid-range gearbox because that usually means you're probably gonna look at like mm, 10 to 12 speed. Anyway, <laughs> in the interior, we can see that we've got a completely new interior compared to the MP3 interior, which I wasn't a huge fan of. I much prefer this interior. We've got Elegance UK, which oh. You can have the original interiors if you want. So we've got four bigger space. This is the custom interior. We've got this one and this one. Obviously with varying colours. I think I'm going to go with this interior. Just because it's a little bit brighter and nicer. And you can also have, if you so desire, the MP3 interiors as well. So that's all we've got for the interior. Which is very nice. Um, colours aren't um, bad, it's not bad selection if I'm honest, but it could be better. I might stick with dark red or I might paint it black. Right, side skirts, we have stock, stock, and stock. <laughs> not sure what the labelling is. The labelling is very good in here. My shoulders just begin to hurt from leaning over for the mouse, but oh well. Um, I'm going to go with these ones, simply because they, make the tr they finish the truck off nicely and make it look really nice. So we've got loads of options for exhausts. I'm going to stick with Volcano 3s like I usually do. But it's up to you how you customise most of the trucks as I say in all the videos. In terms of wheels and lights and stuff, it's, it's really up to you. Um, sun visors, we've got Class B and Class B Chrome. I like the little chrome strip there so I'm going to stick with that. I get some paint mirrors going on here. We can only have plastic um, door handles. Up front here we've got a few tuning options as this mod comes in like four different parts. So we've got this which is like spaces for everything and we can have different ones like that. I'm going to probably go with this and put some LED lights down here because I like that sort of thing. Let's stick with some white LEDs just to finish off the front end nicely because with truck like these, I don't think you really need a massive bull bar. 
I think it just makes the truck look messy at the front. There we go. That's already looking very nice. So at the top, we've got the same sort of thing where you can edit whatever you want. I'm going to go with some Michelin men, some lights, and all that good stuff. If I can find the Michelin men, I'll just go with the lights. <laughs> Gonna get a full set of lights up here, and then that's pretty much me done. I'm gonna keep the truck fairly standard, so I can give it a fair test. I don't want to make it too excessively powerful or change it in any way for what it is like stock. I'll put some decent wheels on it though. So in this pack, we also get DS wheel one, DS wheel two, DS wheel low, and yeah, that's it. So I quite like these. And we get the Mercedes rims as well, which are quite nice. Mercedes luxury rims. I think I'm going to go with them, just because I can. Where is that? Hello? Mercedes. And, I mean, they just finished the truck off really nicely. Down the bottom here, no new lower grill guards, but it's up to you how you customise it. That's how my truck's going to be. I'm going to go and trade that in now. Trade in the MP3 for the brand new MP4. There we go. I bought a new Actros. There we go. We're going to skip the cutscene and go straight into reviewing this. So, the interior, being completely modded and completely new, isn't too bad. I'd say that, yeah, the, 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 the texture quality on the steering wheel lets the whole thing down, to be honest. I would expect a little bit more detail than that, but other than that, it's pretty good. And we get a nice Mercedes badge, I don't know if you can see that on the bed. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed, considering this is a completely new truck, completely modded by various authors. I think there's over like 20 different authors on this version 4, which is the latest version. But outside, I really like the way this truck looks in real life, so obviously I'm going to like it at the moment. The texturing is pretty good. Okay, and it's just some decent light for you. There we go. So the texturing, I'm pretty impressed with the texturing. It looks quite accurate. And obviously, the Mercedes Actros isn't an ugly truck to begin with, so it doesn't really need doing justice. I'm just going to put the lights on for you so you can see them. But the lad sound. The lad sound. So there we go. That's what it looks like. I'm now going to go and get a load like I do usually and tell you what it's like to drive. So then, I've just picked up a nice load. This is 17 tons of whatever is in the containers. And I can immediately tell you that the 476 horsepower engine, is, it has no problem in pulling these sorts of loads. It's very nice to drive. Um, I love the big mirrors, they really help. The only thing I would say though is that the placement of the sat nav means that you have to physically look around to actually look at it because as we are now we've got the centered camera and I cannot see the sat nav. I think that should be on the main display screen because you've got to look over to your right which is a bit annoying but yeah the AI is being retarded here. Damn you! I really like the big mirrors though, they are very good. Good visibility. And like I say, this is um, a completely new truck from scratch, I think they've done a really good job of it. Um, the only thing is though, this mod will soon be fairly obsolete because good news for SCS Software, they've actually got the Mercedes-Benz licensing now, so um, they're st they've started work on the MP4 Actros, which means this truck soon will have an SCS um, default version of it so this is probably if you like Mercedes-Benz um, trucks this is your next best thing this is like the sort of truck you can drive um, as you wait for SCS to bring out their version of the MP4 I don't think it will be out for at least another couple of months So yeah, I really like this truck. It's uh, I'd say it's better than the DAF. It has a lot more class than the DAF. Definitely looks nicer. 
But tell me what you think in the comments. If you like it, um, don't forget to like the video. Also, comment and subscribe. As usual, the download link to this truck is in the description of this video. And have fun with it. That's it for me, guys, for this week. Happy trucking. Oh, God. Camera angle. Cut. Good break, sir. Bye-bye. <laughs>